Welcome, citizen. I am your host, Venerati, and today I am bringing you the second out of three in between show, spawning as the Red Terran and we Bang spawning as the Purple Zerg. Once again, I don't know if they actually chose these colors out of fun because this is their favorite colors, but the last game that we cast, that I cast, uh, same colors. So, either way, what we saw last game, the first in between the two here, we saw Wee Bang able to utilize a nice mix of Mutilus, Zergling, Baneling, and was able to overcome the uh, Thor Marine Marauder build that Sho was fielding there on Metalopolis. So it was a really good game. I really enjoyed it, and hope we get to see the same level of play as I'm sure we will hear on the Steps of War. Now, on this map, much, much different than Metalopolis, as it offers the players a much different environment. And as I said in the last game, it kind of uh, psychologically and particularly this map, seeing as we have a very, 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 very short rush distance here. So you only obviously, well, in this map, there's only one place for your enemy to spawn. So you don't really have to worry about that and that initial scouting out. But with that such, such, short, such short rush distance, you really run into the fact of, you know, heavy defensive play. And actually, you can see very, very long games on such a tiny map as there are quite a few expansions, and I love these semi-island expansions. I mean, they're not truly island because you can actually access them, but you do have the destructible rocks. So, a nice ninja expansion. Yes, they'll call them ninja dens. The, you have the uh, ninja expansions here that are especially keen for Terran players, as you can build it, over, build your command center over here, hop it, and unless you have a uh, overlord ra rambling around over there, Wee Bang's really not going to have an opportunity to see you, unless he does the mutilus. Last game we saw Wee Bang... Uh, bring on the mutilus, and he was constantly patrolling the outside, looking for those ninja bases and trying to take advantage if he was able to find one. So, Wee Bang doing a good job of scouting, is scouting so, so pivotal. And now, right now, we do have a scouting drone coming here, turning militant, and is trying to kill that SCV. However, the Marine is coming out here, pissed off about that, and basically pulls a King of the Castle right as we have in Texas. So, uh, he basically shot him in the face and said, get the hell off my lawn. After, of course, he shot him in the face. And we Bang right now, not going to throw down the early hatch that we saw last time. Uh, we saw a 14 hatch, I think, that came out for we Bang, as that natural was a, a nice place to throw it down, and he was able to throw down two spine crawlers to kind of help defend against any sort of Hellion harassment, and which we did see uh, show come up with Hellion harassment. And we're actually seeing the exact same kind of starter for Show as Show is bringing up the factory right here on the front door. Once again, you know, three-fourths of this door is awesome. I mean, this is hot stuff right here. No one's getting in. Except for this, this supply depot, which makes me sad face because the supply depots are paper thin. And when you see those banelings knocking on that door, it comes knocking down mighty fast. So... Right now, we actually have roaches coming up for Weebang. Weebang going to, looks like, go for a roach, zergling, maybe throw some banelings in there for a little bit of fun, as we do have metabolic boost, whoa. Metabolic boost, yes, that's right, the NOS. Will be coming on for Weebang. Weebang, uh, last time, did a great job with those banelings, as we didn't actually see, <laughs> we didn't see any B-52 action coming out of the Overlords, dropping any banelings, nothing crazy like that, but those banelings were definitely raining some hell on those biological units. Right now we have this alien coming up there, trying to see what's going on, is going to get a face full of acid from those roaches. Of course, these Zerglings, because they are not upgraded, will not be able to catch that Hellion, as the Hellions are quite, quite quick, and we don't have the Glial re Reconstitution for the roaches either, as we do not actually have a lair down for Weebang just quite yet, and we don't have an expansion, so Weebang looking to go for a early roach push here, choosing, he's already in the 41 supply point, and not choosing to expand. So, um, not so common. Meh, I don't know how I feel. I really feel like we see a lot more early base for the Zerg players here. So, we bang knocking on the door here, trying to uh, tap on those supply depots, seeing what he can get out of them. Meanwhile, we do see a tank coming on for show. Show, once he can get the tank out, we'll be able to hold this door with grinning ease, as he does not actually have the siege tech, but that tank will just freaking lay waste to these roaches as uh, uh, you kind of equate it, the tank to the immortal, but not so much as there's definitely a different dynamic to the uh, tank in and of itself. So, Weebang right now 
forming a uh, large, a nice sized army for this early on in the game. He is marching up this ramp. It does look like he's going to be trying to snipe the supply depot. Yes, the supply depot does come down. He is moving up his roaches ever so slightly, trying to knock down the second supply depot. We have a lot of SCVs running here, trying to repair. And seeing that Weebang does back out, I do believe that was the right decision as that tank was starting to really throw in some DPS there as it does do 25 damage to armor and those roaches are definitely armored units. So Weebang not able to really do much there. And do I see a Bangling Nest? Yes, I see a Bangling Nest, but where is it? There's the Bangling Nest. So Weebang going to be adapting his build right now and is going to be looking to try to knock down that door. Still not seeing expansion from him. Meanwhile, Sho has a command center already online morphing it into an orbital command. So it looks like Sho's actually going to be getting his expansion before we bang and unless you're making some uh, real magic happen here, that's not a position you really want to find yourself as a Zerg player, especially going up against a Terran uh, or or Protoss for that matter. Eh, maybe not so bad going up ZVZ, but ZVZ is certainly really, really, really close and really freaking awesome. So we bang doing a good job of constantly, constantly egging this hatchery or injecting it, whatever the hell you want to call it. And meanwhile, Stimpak just finishing up as well as Siege Tech. So, Sho really going to be ramping up his defensive capabilities as he does have a bunker coming down as well. So, he is going to be able to set up these tanks on the high ground. I don't think he's going to bring them to the low ground. Yes, we do see one tank sieging up on the high ground and actually one coming down there. So, right now, uh, Weebang needs to make something happen or Sho's really going to be able to dig in and is going to be able to put the economic hurt on Weebang and basically Cold War him to death as we bang uh moving up a little bit he does not have centrifugal hooks for the bane so these bane are going to be woefully slow and he is pushing up and just trying to feel out the situation as we do have the zergen charging this line right here we have the siege tanks adding their dps to this mess as we do see actually we have the scvs were coming up here trying to do something as well soaking up some damage the marines are moving up here trying to add their firepower trying to dissuade these roaches to get out of the town, and <laughs> we see the mule coming up there as the mule cannot attack. It just looks like he got uh, kind of selected and told to go out there and sacrifice yourself. So we bang, uh, not in the greatest position as he is still one base and isn't really able to make anything happen here. As he does actually snipe that SCV. Good job there, not allowing that bunker to get there. So now the question is, can he get over here and get into the middle line? And yes, that is what looks like it's what he's trying to do as his overlord is going to be eating some javelin missiles right there. And we do actually have Sho moving his forces down here. This Thor is not going to be happy about this. Looks like he's going to be able to pop one. Will the rest of these roaches be able to get away? No, that one roach has really got lucky right there. So uh, we've been losing two roaches to that little escapade there into the last little vestiges of that uh, mineral line. So there really weren't that many SCVs up there to pillage anyway. Finally, we see Weebang throwing down a hatchery. Well, let's go and take a look at the economy tab. And actually, Weebang really isn't hurting that bad. He's only 10 Arbiters behind. Uh, the key question is, will he be able to pot repopulate his economy and really start ramping up there with those drones in time to try to catch up? Because he is going to have to play catch up right now. As we do see Show actually transferring more and more SCVs to the natural, throwing down the mules, as those mules are just absolutely ramping his economy up, almost doubling Weebang's economy at certain points in time. So let's go back to the Productions tab. As we actually see a Raven coming up for... Show and I'm not really sure. I mean, if we bang chooses to uh, go burrow roaches, is really going to be helpful for a uh, deployed army. Not so much for a army that's sitting at home, as you do generally see uh, turrets down later on in the game. As do we actually see a spire or anything like that coming on? No, we do not. So we don't have a spire.